All right, YouTube. Today we're going to be making a uh, Cat5 cable end. We're going to do one really fast, and then we're going to uh, slow down and show exactly what we did. All you really need is some crimps, uh, an end, and a piece of cable. Um, and if you have some electrician scissors, they cost about 15 bucks, and they'll save your life. Now, the one thing you really need to think about when you do this, as I do it really quickly, is that this cable costs almost nothing. So feel free to cut off as much of it as you want. Now I'm going to cut way down here. That's about two inches down. Pull the end off. Pull this back. And now what I've done is I've given myself plenty, plenty, plenty of room to unwrap, which is a lot easier, and straighten these cables, which is the really, really hard part. So that's the only part that really takes any time. I'm going to do one, two, and then three and four here. So the, what, the, color court, the colors that I'm doing, I'm doing B, because that's what we usually do. And see how easy it is to straighten these if, I just, if there's a lot left over? It saves you so much time, you're not dinking around. Make sure it's, let's see here, we'll do this and then go. Now this, this saves a ton of time. Once we get this unwrapped, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so let's see how we do. I'm taking these cables, and as I'm pinching them between my fingers, I have a super straight bit right there. Another one, another one, and I'm kind of just bowing them around the outside. What we, get, what we end up with, with a little wiggle, is a perfectly straight bit that I can cut off at a spot that seems reasonable, right, out, right, out, right next to my fingers. Slide this on in one movement, not worry about the cables not lining up perfectly, because I line them up, cut the, cut the slack off, squeeze, done. There we go. Perfect. In probably, what, 45 seconds, a minute? Not too bad. Now, probably if I ate breakfast, I could do it a bit faster. Now, we're going to do it again. We're going to slow it down and show you kind of some of the tricks here. Cutting the end off, doing it one more time. So, what I'm going to do... I'm, I'm keeping about an inch and a half. That's just about enough to make sure these get straightened easily. Um, I'm going to pull these cables to the side here. Uh, we'll talk about the order in a second here. We'll pull them into the place we want. I usually just pull them into this, this shape. That way my first one and last one are separated. My middle one's in the middle. What I, how I think about it is that we've got a... We start with orange, then we go to green, and then we go to brown. It goes left to right, and the white's always first in the, in the color thing. If you just separate those, I'm going to do it like this so you can see it a bit better. If you do it like this, where you separate these ones and straighten them. Look how straight they already are. I'm not messing around with this. If they're straight, it's easy. I bend them to the side so that they're out of the way. And do this middle one. Undo it and straighten it. If you wiggle it straight, you get really, really simple straight bits. Now that we've got these three, I separate the green, and then the blue comes through backwards. That's kind of how I think of it. It goes orange, green, brown. Split the green pair and put the blue pair in backwards between the two green pairs. So there we go, straight. Now I'm pinching right here at the bottom. You can see as I'll pull these in, and what I'm doing is every time I give it a little wiggle, and here I'll, I'll show you what's under my fingers here. It's like a really good, strong, crimping spot where everything kind of lines up. Then we pull another uh, two in, and then we pull the last two in around the outside, like that. And what I did, I'm wiggling them in, I'm bending them in, I'm not just placing them in. That gets them as straight as they can possibly be. I take my electrician scissors, because it's easier to use these things to cut and stuff than the ones that come with your crimps. And they're a lot more, a lot simpler to use. Grab another end. See, these are already perfectly lined up. They look good, and they fit in here perfectly. Putting it right into the, to the end. I really don't have to mess with it. I push it all the way in, make sure it's all the way in. Look at this. We've got the sheathing all the way up past the little sheathing crimp, and everything else is really tight. All that without really any work. Squeeze, done. And that, even when I slowed it down a little bit, took a minute and a half. So as you can see, I'm going to cut that little bit of string off. The easiest, way to, the easiest way to do this is don't worry about the cable, don't worry about extra cable, and it helps to have about another inch. This much cable, the, the stuff that I cut off, I'm going to show you the table here. The stuff that I cut off in my little experiment probably costs less than a penny. And, it, and you get paid a heck of a lot more than a penny to do this, so feel free to cut off some extra cable. Don't worry about that. 
There you go, one perfect end.